this video is past due. Uh, you know that I talk about gaming and streaming and producing videos and stuff like that. And I also enjoy uh, trying out game controllers and different combinations of things to do game streaming. So our video today is actually um, using Moonlight, which I already have a previous video. You can go ahead and check the video somewhere in the description below. That's right. Uh, if you want to set up, um, if you want to set up Moonlight uh, using your Nvidia Shield or using your regular game stream option within the Nvidia um, Experience GeForce Experience. Uh, but what I want to talk today is slightly different. So you know, as you know, uh, the Nvidia GeForce or specifically the game stream feature or I think is the Nvidia Shield option has been uh, discontinued. Uh, they're not really adding new games into the game stream options. So I have a video, uh, which I'm gonna also add in the description that I explain how to add custom games or other games that are not part of game streaming or game shield uh, library. And you can add any other game that you have, right? And how to create the, the, the setup for the box art and everything to make it look nice. But what we're gonna be talking about today is actually Sunshine. Sunshine is an alternative to the NVIDIA um, game shield or game stream options or features, which actually has a up-to-date library. It works silently in the background. We're gonna be using my iPhone. And uh, I got for Christmas this backbone, which is the PlayStation version. You'll be able to see it here, right? And we're gonna connect our iPhone or our smartphone into the backbone and use Moonlight. We're gonna keep on using Moonlight, but this time we're gonna be connecting it using Sunshine. So with no further ado, we're gonna go ahead and show you how it looks, how it legacies from um, an iPhone. I'm not into mobile gaming, but definitely this, this backbone um, is, is just flawless, works pretty well. I, I mean, I don't like much the backbone button there, but hey, it does the trick. So if you're interested in getting one of these, um, you can go ahead and use one of my affiliate links. I'm gonna have it in the description below. But this is the PlayStation Edition, since I like PlayStation, and I use my uh, DualSense 5 controller to play games on the PC. So as you can see here, right, it has the PlayStation buttons, and then it has a PlayStation logo in the back. But this is actually running on an iPhone. Now, today, this is not a gameplay video. So if you want to see me play this uh, game, we can go ahead and check me out at twitch.tv slash 4 tv or sometimes I also stream over here on YouTube. Okay, so that's how Hogwarts Legacy is on an iPhone using the backbone and is using Moonlight uh, connected to the NVIDIA Shield protocol. Let's call it protocol, right? So we're gonna go ahead and exit out of this game and we are gonna try the new methods. So this is our computer here and currently, as you can see, I have Steam and I have GeForce Experience. And if I go to GeForce Experience, I can load it up here and I'll show you that we have the NVIDIA Shield um, feature or protocol installed and it has an additional game there. Anything that uses the Shield, NVIDIA Shield protocol uh, will be able to access this game. So that's why when we go to Moonlight in our phone, we are able to choose that. And so pretty much uh, Sunshine is a self-hosted game stream host for Moonlight, offering low latency cloud gaming server capabilities with support for AMD. Intel and NVIDIA GPUs for hardware encoding. And I want to make a lot of emphasis in this part because, as you know, uh, the NVIDIA Shield is specifically for NVIDIA GPUs. Um, but now with Sunshine, you can use this for AMD, Intel. So it's kind of GPU agnostics. And, and right now, I don't have anything set up with Arc. But since it does accept Intel GPUs, I would include Arc in that same boat. So the difference here is that you don't need to use any app install per se anymore, like the NVIDIA GeForce is actually web-based. So whenever you install Sunshine, you can just load up your browser and try to configure your Sunshine self-hosted setup. So after you download Sunshine, you wanna go ahead and run as an administrator. I'm just gonna have to the next, agree, select where you wanna have it located. Uh, usually you wanna use the regular default uh, program files folder. Uh, from here, well, you want to choose which components are going to be included into the installation. I would probably just include all of it. Pretty straightforward. It's going to auto-trigger um, the web UI, which is the documentation for this. While it's time to install um, Sunshine, 
nothing too complicated. It's really straightforward. I think the most important thing is actually uh, customizing your uh, Sunshine afterwards. So now I have Sunshine installed, looks like so. And if I click here, I can either restart it or I can just go ahead and open Sunshine. And that's going to just go ahead and load um, my localhost using a localhost pretty much yes, 127.0.0.1 um, IP address, uh, which is localhost. And then it has a specific port. Continue. Uh, obviously, it's not um, behind an SSL certificate, so that's why it's a not secure connection. Uh, the very first time you're installing this, you want to set up a username and password, and you want to keep it safe because they don't remember or they don't tell you which is the password anymore. You might have to uninstall it if it if you get to forget your password. So after you set up your username and password, your credential, there you have it. So this is very important. I just want to make emphasis that I know they, they are actually showing it their attention. Look, we strongly recommend fixing this before streaming. I'm going to go back to settings, go to the shield tab, and then just turn this off. So there's two ways that I can do that. Is I can just go where it says troubleshooting, go to the last tab, and then I can just go ahead and restart Sunshine. Uh, or I can also click on Sunshine over here and then just click on restart. So I'm just going to restart it from here. Back, there it is. Sunshine is installed. There is nothing else showing up here. Uh, no alerts. Now, depending on if you do have installed uh, the drivers for game controllers, then if you don't, it will pop it up here and let you know that you need to install those. If you have them, uh, then it's just going to say that everything is okay. So now it's going to be similar to how we were using the shield setup. So this time now, again, it's trying to do the pairing mode, and it shows you with a pin. So for this, you can either click. If you have access to your computer, you can just go ahead and click here, and it will request for the pin. But you can also go in the upper section, just click where it says pin, and it will open up the section for entering the pin that you're getting right now from Moonlight. So I'm just going to go ahead and type it in, click on send, and that's about it. As you can see on my phone, right now I have desktop and I have uh, Steam, which Steam is pretty much just big picture. So if you're encountering this issue where you connect through Moonlight uh, to Sunshine and you're not able to take control of any buttons or anything like that in your game stream, is most likely because you're missing um, a game controller driver. So for that, uh, what I would recommend is installing the VI Gem Bus driver, which is pretty much just a virtual driver for game controllers. These are supposed to be for, for emulating Xbox and PlayStation controllers in the Windows computer. Uh, that's because we're using Windows. Um, if it's Mac, um, I haven't tested it. I could go ahead and test it out. The next step is let's go ahead and install virtual game controller driver. It says that I don't have anything installed. And there we go. So now Steam is finally running properly. I had to restart Steam, but there you go. So I can take a hold. You can see here I am actually controlling big picture from my phone. And then I'm going to try again and load Hogwarts Legacies. I have this cap right now into 5 megabits per second. I'm in my home network, but I could definitely bump that up to either 7 or 10, uh, depending your network connection you can make it better so this is really straightforward as you can see this is sunshine working on a windows 11 computer uh, using the shoe protocol um, but I haven't used the NVIDIA GeForce Experience thanks to Lizard Byte Project. Uh, shout out to them. They are just making this possible to you be able, for you to be able to do just game streaming from whichever computer, regardless of it being NVIDIA, AMD, Intel. Uh, thanks again for watching. If you have any questions or doubt about Sunshine or game streaming with your computer or game controllers, let me know in the comments below. And make sure to watch this next video here about game controllers. Peace.